<laughs> nice job. <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> you want to go grab coffee? No, thank you. Let's grab coffee. Yeah. I think we're all set for DC. All right, well, that's really cool. Okay. Thanks. All right, let's try this again. Coffee run in the cold. Yeah, have fun, guys. Yeah, thanks. What's going on, guys? This is Coffee Run. It's definitely getting colder. You guys have questions. Let's try to get some answers. Question number one, what do you even do? That's a good question. I do actually have some cash. We staged that. I never had, that's my uh, boring company cash. The words have spoken. You can't mail your glorious propane fuel. To make it up to you, we've included some cold hard cash. All right, all right, question number one, what do you even do? Great question, especially if you come in, you see me like with some flamethrowers or something. All right, so what do I do? Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of a tech company in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we help people sell on Amazon. We get to empower tens of thousands of entrepreneurs, helping them go and create lives for themselves through selling on Amazon. And uh, we're, we're a tech company that builds software to help them do that. Question number two, how do you handle rapid growth? So there's different levels of rapid growth. I would say we're on the low to mid range. You have companies like Bird that go and are worth $2 billion after a year. So we're not in that high, high of growth. But I think it's really important to be laying the foundation for the next couple of phases of growth. We brought on a COO and president, someone that was super, super well experienced. We were hiring a lot of people who had been there and done that. So we were laying the foundation. And a lot of times we hired these people before we necessarily needed them right now. But within a month, three months of them coming on, we ended up needing them. So basically what I'm trying to say is think about where you want to be in the next six months and start making the right decisions to get you there right now and start laying the foundation so that the foundation is already laid before you need it. Question number three, how do I make smarter decisions? Good question. I think reading and interacting with a lot of people is really important. One major thing that I do is I get a lot of other people's opinions, even if it doesn't necessarily pertain to them or if, if they don't necessarily maybe have experience with making that kind of a decision. I love asking a lot of other people on the team. I'll ask some of the leadership. I'll ask some of the people on the customer success side just because I want other people's perspectives. Having a good variety of perspectives is significantly going to decrease the probability of you making a bad decision. You want anything? All right. All right, question number four, how do I stop wasting time? Great question. I think this is something I'll, I'll always kind of struggle with, but it, it really helps me if I have no notifications on and maybe I don't even have my phone near me so that I can't like pick it up and just subconsciously or unconsciously, uh, you know, check social media or something like that. And I think it really helps if you have a to-do list. If I get this done, I'm gonna feel great. And then maybe some secondary items. If I get these two secondary items, I'll feel good. And just having that checklist and being able to check it off, like you are naturally going to get a boost of dopamine from completing that goal. And so I, I think that it's some great positive reinforcement. And overall, I think it's also important to look at everything within context. It's like, okay, Saturday night, I could watch a movie or I could, you know, take this coding lesson or whatever. Well, like I think about who do I really wanna be? Who do I want people to uh, see me as? And what are my aspirations in life? And it's like, this movie doesn't help me to get there. And so at least for me, looking at that in the context is like, this movie isn't gonna help me to get to that next phase in life. Maybe you want a, a nice car. Maybe you wanna be making a certain amount of money. Maybe you want you know, to be able to lift your family out of poverty or something. Like watching that movie isn't gonna help you to do that. And, but that coding lesson gets you to that next step. And so, I don't know. Thinking about those things always help me to be a lot more productive. Question number five, I like this question a lot. How do you maintain the team's motivation? Honestly, this is something I think about all the time because at the end of the day, I wanna make sure everybody loves working at Viral Launch. They love their job and they're motivated. And so the number one thing is just always tying back what they are doing to the overall mission and vision. And the vision at Viral Launch is to help build 
entrepreneurs, come alongside entrepreneurs to help them build successful businesses. So we have people that write Amazon listings all day. To me, that seems like a boring job. But I, I help the team to realize you're not just writing another Amazon listing. You're literally giving an entrepreneur the tool that they need to go and succeed in their Amazon business. And if you don't do an amazing job, you are not helping set them up for success. And if you do a bad job with their, their product photography or their Amazon listing, that could literally mean the difference of thousands to tens of thousands of dollars in lost revenue or revenue they're not seeing. And if you do help them to get that revenue, who knows what they're able to go and do with that. Maybe they go on to be a million dollar Amazon seller, they're able to provide for their family, and blah, blah, blah. You, you get it, right? And so I think it's really important to help everybody understand how what they do impacts the bigger picture and also helping them to understand what that bigger picture is. All right, guys, this has been Coffee Run. Some amazing questions this time. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to get my perspective on or whatever, please throw that down in the comments and we'll try to get to it. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this has been some value to you uh, on your journey to success. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to come check out the day to day, come check out my Instagram. And we upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So we have a lot of content coming your way. So tune in. I'll see you guys later.